Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on SSC CGL. I am Ram Mohan. For the benefit of all the students who are preparing for SSC CGL Tier 1 examination and also other exams, I will discuss the solutions of the quantitative aptitude section of previous papers. I hope this will help you understand the pattern and also secure good marks. In the previous videos, I have discussed the morning and evening session papers of 19th October 2014. You may also watch them by subscribing to our channel. In this video, I will start with the morning session paper of 26th October 2014. Question number 1. 3 power x minus 3 power x minus 1 is equal to 486. Find the value of x. Here the given equation is 3 power x minus 3 power x minus 1 is equal to 486. In this 3 power x can be written as 3 into 3 power x minus 1. So the equation is 3 into 3 power x minus 1 minus 3 power x minus 1 is equal to 486. Then the equation becomes 3 power x minus 1 into 3 minus 1 is equal to 486. So 3 power x minus 1 is equal to 486 by 2 which is 243. Now 243 can be written as 3 power 5. Therefore 3 power x minus 1 is equal to 3 power 5. Since the bases are equal, x minus 1 is equal to 5 and x is equal to 6. So the answer is option number 4. Next question. When A can do a piece of work in 4 days, and B can do it in 12 days. In how many days will they finish the work both working together? These type of questions are very common in SSC CGL. Now let us see the problem. When A can do the work in 4 days, in 1 day he can do 1 fourth of the work. Similarly, when B can do the work in 12 days, in one day he can do one twelfth of the work. Therefore, work done by A and B in one day is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 12 is equal to 3 plus 1 by 12 which is equal to 4 by 12 that is equal to 1 by 3. So, one third of the work is done by A and B in one day. That means the number of days a and B take to finish the work is 3. So the answer is option number 4. Next question. A can do one fourth of the work in 10 days. B can do one third of the work in 20 days. In how many days can both A and B together do the work? It is given in the problem that A can do one fourth of the work in 10 days. That means in one day he can do 1 by 4 into 1 by 10 which is equal to 1 by 40th of the work. Similarly, when B can do one third of the work in 20 days, then B's one day's work is equal to 1 by 3 into 1 by 20 which is equal to 1 by 60. That means 1 by 60 of the, the 1 by 60th of the work is done by B in one day. Therefore, amount of work done by A and B in one day is equal to 1 by 40 plus 1 by 60 which is equal to 5 by 120 which is equal to 1 by 24. That means 1 by 24th of the work can be done by A and B in one day. Therefore number of days required by A and B to complete the work is equal to 24 days. So the answer is option number 3. Next question. A and B together finish a work in 30 days. They worked for 20 days and then B left. The remaining work was done by A alone in 20 more days. A alone can finish the work in dash. It is given that A and B can together finish the work in 30 days. That means in one day they can do 1 by 30th of the work. Work done by A and B in 20 days is equal to 20 into 1 by 3 
which is equal to 2 by 3. Therefore, the balance work remaining is equal to 1 minus 2 by 3, which is equal to 1 by 3. So, one third of the work is done by A in 20 days. It is already given in the problem. So that means, in 20 days, he can do one third of the work. So, A alone can finish the total work in 20 into 3, that is 60 days. Therefore, the answer is option number 1. Next question, a circular wire of diameter 112 cm is cut and bent in the form of a rectangle whose sides are in the ratio of 9 is to 7. The smaller side of the rectangle is. In this case, let us find out the length of the wire. Length of the wire is, is nothing but perimeter of the circle which is equal to pi into diameter that is 22 by 7 into 112 centimeters which is equal to 352 centimeters now the sides are in the sides of the rectangle are in the ratio of 9 is to 7 that is already given in the problem let the sides of the rectangle be 9x and 7x then perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 into l plus v that is 2 into 9x plus 7x which is equal to 32x here perimeter of the rectangle is equal to length of the wire. Therefore, 32x is equal to 352. Therefore, x is equal to 352 by 32 which is equal to 11 centimeters. Therefore, smallest side is 7x. That is 7 into 11 which is equal to 77 centimeters. So, the answer is option number 1. Next question, a piece of cloth measured with a meter stick 1 cm short is 100 meters long. Reckoning the meter stick as being right, the actual length of cloth in centimeters is. Of in this, for every 1 meter length, shortage is 1 cm. That is, the stick is short by 1 cm. So, the, the total length of the cloth is 100 meters. So, for a length of 100 meters, the total shortage is equal to 100 into 1, that is equal to 100 centimeters, which is nothing but 1 meter. Therefore, actual length of the cloth is equal to 100 minus 1, that is equal to 99 meters, which is equal to 9900 centimeters. So, the answer is option number 2. Next question, a parallelogram has sides 60 meters and 40 meters and one of its diagonals is 80 meters long. What is its area? A, B, C, D is a parallelogram of which A, B is 60 meters, B, C is 40 meters and diagonal A, C is given as 80 meters and we are asked to calculate the area of a, B, C, D. In this, A, B, C is a triangle. The diagonal A, C divides parallelogram into two equal triangles. So, if we can find out the area of this triangle A, B, C, it is very easy to find out the area of parallelogram. In the triangle A, B, C, we know the values of all sides. A, B, B, C and A, C. When we know the sides of the triangle, the, for, the formula to calculate the area of triangle A, B, C is equal to square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C, where S is equal to A plus B plus C by 2. Here we know that A is equal to 60 meters, B is equal to 40 meters and C is equal to 80 meters and S is equal to 90 meters. Let us substitute these values in this formula. So, the area of ABC is equal to square root of 90 into 90 minus 60 into 90 minus 40 into 90 minus 80. After, after simplification, the area of triangle ABC is equal to 300 root 15 square meters. Now, the area of parallelogram ABCD is, is equal to 2 into 
300 root 15 which is equal to 600 root 15 square meters. So the answer is option number 2. Next question. The cost price of a table is Rs. 3200. The merchant wants to make 25% profit by selling it. At the time of sale, he declares a discount of 20% on the market price. What is the market price? Let us assume that the market price of the table be P. When you allow 20% discount, sale price is equal to P into 100 minus 20 by 100, which is equal to 80P by 100. Cost price of the table is given as Rs. 3200. So when the merchant wants to make a profit of 25%, sale price is equal to 3200 into 100 plus 25 by 100 which is equal to 3200 into 125 by 100. So sale, sale price derived from market price and sale price derived from cost price both should be equated. That means ATP by 100 is equal to 3200 into 125 by 100. Therefore P is equal to 3200 into 125 by 80 which is equal to rupees 5000. So the answer is option number 1. Next question. The shopkeeper allows a discount of 12.5% on the market price of a certain article and makes a profit of 20%. If the article costs the shopkeeper rupees 210, then the market price of the article will be. Let us assume that the market price of the article be P rupees. He allows a discount of 12.5% on the market price. So the sale price is equal to P into 100 minus 12.5 by 100 which is equal to 87.5 P by 100. Cost price of the article is given as rupees 210. On this he wants to make a profit of 20%. So the sale price is equal to 210 into 120 by 100. These two are equal. The sale price derived from market price and sale price derived from cost price. Therefore 87p by 100 is equal to 210 into 120 by 100. Therefore p is equal to 210 into 120 by 87.5 which is equal to rupees 288. So the answer is option number 4. Next question. The average salary per head of all the workers of an institution is 60. The average salary of 12 officers is rupees 400. The average salary per head of the the average salary per head of the rest is rupees 56. What is the total number of workers in the institution? Let us assume that the total number of workers is n. And the average of the total number of workers is given as 60. Therefore, the total salary of all the workers is equal to 60 n. Out of this n, the average salary of 12 officers is given as rupees 400. Therefore, total salary of 12 officers is equal to 12 into 400, which is nothing but 4800. The total salary of the rest of the uh, employees is equal to 56 into n minus 12. Therefore, 60 n is equal to 4800 plus 56 into n minus 1. Therefore, 4n is equal to 4128 and n is equal to 1032. So, our answer is option number 4. Okay friends, let's continue with the remaining questions in the next part of the series. Thank you for watching the video. Feel free to write to us for, for any further queries at prmrao.com.